What is the difference between drop and truncate command in SQL? The truncate command is used to remove all the data or rows from the table. However, it does not impact the existence of a table, meaning table structure will not be deleted. So the table with zero rows will still exist in our database. But what happens to the properties of a table such as index, views, constraints or validation? The truncate command does not affect the table properties such as table indexes and constraint. So when we add new data to the table, the old constraint or validation will be applied to the new data. But what about views? Views in SQL are virtual table based on result of a select query and they do not store the data. Views provide a way to represent subset of a data. When you use truncate command on a table, it only removes the data within that table leaving views of that table unaffected. However, views will reflect changes in the underlying table. If the table is empty due to truncate command, then views will also appear empty. On other hand, drop command will delete table structure along with its data and properties. For example, if you execute drop command on student table, then its structure along with data and properties such as indexes, constraint and views will be deleted. Now which one is faster? Truncate or drop? The truncate command only deletes the table data, but drop command deletes its structure along with the data and properties, meaning it performs some additional operation along with deleting the data. That's why truncate command is faster than drop command. That's it for today's video. Follow my channel for more such videos.